Today on Camp Round Tour Tuesday, we're going to wrap up our visit to the Redfish Lake area campground when we visit the uh, Point Campground, as well as Redfish Lake Lodge. We'll take a quick stop off the dump station just so you can see where it's at. And then we'll head down to the Mountain View Campground, and the Chinook Bay Campground was closed for maintenance, so we didn't get to tour it today. So hey everybody, and welcome to the Camp Ground Tour Tuesday. And uh, today we're going to be visiting the uh, Redfish Lake area campgrounds. Amazing place to stay, really hard to get into in the summer. Highly recommend reservations if you're going to come in the summer. I'm in the shoulder season. Uh, this is the last week that the campgrounds are actually going to be open. They close September 17th, and today is the uh, thing, 13th, yeah. Reservations, again, are highly recommended because it's a very popular place. I'm sitting on the lake right now, and it's an amazing place. I have been coming here for a very, very long time, and it's probably one of my favorite places uh, in all of Idaho. At one time or another, over the 50 years I've been coming here, I've probably stayed in every campground at least once, and maybe three or four or five times. I know I've been at Glacier View, where we're staying now, uh, several times. But enough of my chatter. Let's get on with the tour. Here we are coming up on the west side of Redfish Lake to the Point Campground. There are eight walk-in sites only. In other words, you cannot access them with a vehicle. You have to carry all your gear in. But they're really nice. They're down on the beach, so they're definitely worth getting. And then the rest of the campgrounds in this area are all for tent camping only. There are no RVs or trailers allowed in this particular campground. Now we're headed back to the south uh, along this five mile long redfish lake that uh, was created by glaciers many millennia ago. The lodge was built in 1929 and other than a couple of additions for uh, the kitchen and some sanitary facilities, it's pretty much as it was from when it was built. There's a general store here, there's a marina where you can rent paddle boat and catch a water taxi to the south end of the lake uh, where there's another campground that of course is going to be hike in only. And there's some excellent access to hiking trails on the south end of the lake that, if you have a chance, I highly recommend. Here we are at the dump station, and the equestrian stables are here as well, so you can rent yourself a horse and go on a nice mountain ride if you so desire. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away is the uh, Mountain View Campground. Mountain View only has six sites that are accessible to uh, trailers as well as tents and other things. You might be able to get a smaller IV in here. Uh, I didn't stop and measure the sites, but they look pretty short. I think you might have trouble getting a 40-foot RV parked in here. Right next door is the Chinook Bay Campground, but unfortunately it was closed for maintenance, so we didn't get a chance to look at it today. I hope you like what you're seeing. If you are, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Uh, that's always appreciated. And then be sure and subscribe because you don't want to miss the other campground tours I've got coming up. We'll be touring some campgrounds out in South Dakota and uh, several in Arizona as well in the near future. So uh, be sure and tune in for those. So until we get together again for another campground tour Tuesday, peace.